Throw that in there. Turn you on. Turn you on. What the? Hold up. What just happened? What's up, everybody? A Sparrow with a Gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Stationeers. Uh, when we left off in the last episode, we kind of fixed our problem. Our, our problem. Yeah, we kind of fixed our problem in the last episode. Our power problem is what I meant to say. We kind of fixed our power problem in the last episode. So, uh, what, I, what I mean by that, for those of you that may not be aware, is that I had a bit of an issue with the uh, power supply from my solar panels and the batteries and stuff blowing out cabling. So we kind of fixed it now, I think, I hope. Uh, there were a couple suggestions in the comments to essentially use transformers like I've been using area power controllers, which is before you go into a room, um, set up a new transformer. I thought about it, um, and it isn't a bad idea. I would just have to reconfigure a lot that I don't feel I want to do just yet. And I don't know if it's entirely necessary or if it's kind of like uh, really, really making sure that nothing blows out. So we'll have to see if we keep going the way that we are and we get more blowouts eventually, then I'll probably have to redo it. I did like the idea of a centralized transformer room. Um, essentially, it'd be one of those where you'd have... Hmm, probably somewhere over here, I guess, for me, or maybe somewhere over the top, not sure. But there would basically be a room that houses multiple transformers, and each one runs a power line to a different room. And I was like, hmm, that's, that's not a bad idea, that could work. Um, so yeah, as I mentioned in the last episode, there's a couple projects that I have in mind. <clears throat> Excuse me. The one being to reconfigure this, but this is going to be a fairly large project that I don't know I want to tackle today. That's a little bit too much for me at the moment. Um, this one wouldn't be too bad, and it's probably what we're going to ultimately end up doing, and that's a way to connect to multiple different um, gases, power, and whatnot. And the other was to move the solar panels, which that one wouldn't be a bad one either. Uh, it really would mostly come down to rewiring the um, rewiring the logic back here for our power display readout, which wouldn't be too difficult. It's just it is kind of one of those where it's like, you know, I have to actually do it at some point. Um, as well as moving all the cabling and logic for the solar panels. I think I'm going to put it over here somewhere, I think. Which, actually, in hindsight, if I did it that way, if I moved it over here, I probably could put the screen right here rather than kind of stuck back over here. At the time that I did this, I didn't have the fabricator, so, you know, there's that. Um, so yeah, I might end up doing that, actually. I'm not sure. It is a little bit of a time-consuming undertaking, but it wouldn't actually be too difficult. It'd just be a lot of work. Let me just kind of take a gander here and see what I'd be looking at. So obviously that will need to probably stay where it is, and I don't really see a problem with that. I don't really see a, a need not to. And all of these like power units and all that kind of stuff, they can really stay... I don't have to do anything too crazy if I move this stuff. It would just be like this line would have to be over here kind of thing, and the power controller would have to be like on that wall, wouldn't really be too terrible. Um, now, if my memory serves me, I feel like, okay, that's okay, I feel like this one does not have, oh, it does, okay, I did seal it up. I felt like it didn't have a seal. Um, Alright, we can toss these, I don't know why I'm getting little lag spikes in this either. I, I shouldn't say lag, it's more frame rate. One minute it's really super smooth, and then like I'll do something and it kind of just stutters and jitters and things. It's really kind of weird. We also have a bit of an issue with our power supply in general, if I'm going to be honest. Um, let me see if I could actually take care of that. Let's get rid of that for the moment. Which is bad, because I might have to let this clear. 
Because, see, this is something that happens um, with this machine. For some reason, if you um, pick something different, it, like, doesn't finish what it was on. It's really kind of weird. I don't like it. I feel like that's a bug that needs to be fixed. Um, that was a good example of it. You guys actually saw it firsthand. I've seen it before when you cancel things, and then if I had just started something, it would, like, consume the materials of the thing I'm trying to make, but it would only give me cable. It's really weird. It's very odd. So, let's see if we can do... I don't think we need more batteries at the moment. What we need is more solar panels, I believe. Now, if I can just recall where they're at. I think it's under kit. Solar panels. There we go. Um, now, what does this cost? Okay, we made one more. I need more iron and more copper. Let's add... What do I have up there? I think I did in intervals of three, so let's add three more. Or, I guess, two more would make it three. And then we're going to turn these two off. So I need iron and copper. Alrighty, so I'm about to do a... Oh, I actually forgot about this. I have some in my inventory. I'm about to do a uh, mining run because I have enough iron, I think, but I don't have any copper left. So we need to get some more copper. Now, I'm also going to be keeping an eye out for um, copper, gold, and iron just because... Um, I don't remember exactly what I need, but I know it's some combination of those in order to do um, the chemical, st not chemical station, the reagent and recycler and stuff like that in order to recycle our CO2. Uh, that's the one I forgot about, but we definitely have a bit of a power deficit at the moment, so I think focusing on the uh, solar panels and stuff is probably the better idea. Um, now, like I said, I don't know what's causing this exactly, because we were fine until we had the burnout. Now, that could mean that we had enough battery power to sustain our um, our base until the solar panels came up and then it would recharge them and it was giving... I don't know. But we seem to be bleeding power now, um, as, as in it's not even to the next day yet, and we've lost over, I don't know, 20-30% maybe, because I believe it was somewhere in the 32 bracket. Uh, when I last left, or something like that. I'm not sure, but we're losing a lot of power. Now, granted, daylight's coming up, but still, uh, still seems a bit over the top. Um, so we're gonna turn on this guy, so that we make sure that we have a tracking beacon. I've gotten tired of getting lost. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna do a bit of a mining run. Uh, now, I normally... Oh, I've got my helmet on. Or I'm a helmet open. I was like, what? And it and it does say toxin detected. Now, with um with the advent of the way we set up the new um whatchamacallit? Air vent stuff that we set it up to where it won't actually empty the room and all that kind of stuff. Um, I feel a bit more confident in that we could probably set it back to 8020. Um, right now, it's at that 79, something like that bracket, and I'm thinking 80-20 would probably be better, because when it was at 80% and 20%, um, there was no... It, it wouldn't come up and say toxins detected and stuff like that. It was fine. Um, now, I'm not worried about it. It's a little warning. It's not like the critical, hey, you're taking damage from it, and the toxins it's detecting is like 0.1 moles of CO2 and uh, pollutant. Which is kind of like, eh, I mean, I'm not really getting hurt by it or anything, so I don't really care. Um, however, just for, you know, perfectionism, if you will, it might not be a bad idea to actually set it um, to have, uh, whatchamacallit, the, um, yeah, I can't think today. 80-20. It, it might be good to actually set it to 80-20. Um, so that we don't get those little errors and things like that. And now that I've set it up to where the room shouldn't actually ever be void of any kind of atmosphere, um, that should work in theory? I'm not really sure. We'll have to experiment with that on another episode, I think. It's working for now, and right now we have a much bigger problem with our power deficit. Um, ooh. But, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go through and do some mining. Hopefully we get what we need, in theory. 
uh, and then I will be back when we can build some more solar panels. Alrighty, so here's another example of what I was talking about where I left, the sun was coming up, and it was at like 34 or 5 when I first walked in, now it's down to 32. So, yeah. Um, and I also apparently have a leak in my suit, so that's a problem. Um, let's actually open our helmet up. We're going to pull this in here. Uh, where's the valve? Can I, can I get to the valve? I need the valve. Eey. All right, well, I'm gonna have to deal with that in a minute. Uh, for now, let's actually swap the battery out. I'm gonna drop that tank there. I probably need another, oh, yep, there's the leak. Heh, <laughs> you can see it. Luckily for me, we are in the base. So what I'm, what I'm gonna do is turn this off. We're gonna drop that there and I'm kind of gonna do the same thing for the helmet uh, because I need to go get some stuff. Now the hard part here is I hope that uh, I hope that the um, system here will have enough power for me to smelt up what I need in order to make more solar panels. So that's kind of interesting. Um, I can't really see very well without my headlamps, but I think the, there it is. Atmospheric analyzer cartridges in there. All right, so we have that. Oh, that's right. Got this in here too. We'll go ahead and throw that in there. There we go. Uh, what am I looking for? What am I looking for? Duct tape, duct tape, duct tape, duct tape. There we go. That's what I need. Let's see if we can fix up our, our suit. So, how's our power doing? 30. I don't get it, really. I'm not really sure exactly what's going on here. Do I have to have it equipped, maybe? I forget. Yeah, you have to have it equipped. Okay. Now, the one thing I don't know is if you'll notice the bar has not changed, even though we repaired the suit or the, the helmet. Critical. Suit damage. Um, so what I'm wondering about is, is that some kind of like how many repairs you have, maybe? And not the, uh, not more of basically like the, that's how damaged it is, but how many repairs you have. I didn't think about that for a long time. But the more I look at it, the more I'm really kind of thinking that's exactly what's going on. Is it's a, um, oops, Let's, we can go ahead and turn this light on for now. I was, I was lowering the lights and stuff to try and minimize, um, I, essentially the power drain. I'm not really sure how, where all this extra drain is coming from. Um, so I'm trying to, I might have to move. I might have to take up another locker here. And I did get, as you can tell, I did get some... We'll throw those right here for now. Put that one there and that one there. And the rest are oxides and stuff we need to leave in our mining bag. That was weird. Couldn't, couldn't go forward. Uh, we might want to smelt that up as well. But yeah, I don't know if it's all the... Uh, all the lights or or what because like I said before we had our power debacle it seemed like it was sustaining things well enough and now it's it's just not I mean we're back up but we're back up to daylight again so uh, I can't seem to fill the tanks as I guess my my thing and I did store this in here just as a, a temporary okay um Let's throw this over here. I need my tool bag, actually. Give me this. And let's unhook this for a second. If I can. There we go. And let's drag this over here because I need to fill up the tank. Give me this. Uh, there it is. So fill. Where's the gauge? Good. Is that enough? Is that as much as it fills it? And I suppose I could technically 
Um, Air tank critical. I could technically put the, um, yeah, I can't talk. <sighs> I could technically put this air tank to where it vented and filled up the, the room, but I don't really have a way to fill up the tank. So I'm going to wait on that until we get this guy um, actually hooked up. Once we get that hooked up to where we can actually just throw our suit down and it will be filled and drained and all that stuff, uh, then we could actually pump this portable tank into... Um, into the base's atmospheric system. Now, one thing that I also wondered about, I guess we don't really need this either at the moment. The other thing I also wondered about is if the filters now are in a spot where you have to change your filter out, I wonder if the actual atmospheric stuff up up in the um, our atmospheric control actually requires that as well. All right, that seemed like we got it good quick enough. All right, so now that we have a little bit more of what we need, uh, I think that was in the bottom corner. Let's grab the copper. And I might wait and grab the gold and then, well, no, we probably don't need to wait on the gold actually. So let's go ahead and throw this in the fabricator. I think I already threw the iron in. So that should be good. Throw that in there. Turn you on. Turn you on. What the? Hold up. What just happened? Why is my airlock depressurizing? What the heck just happened? I'm gonna wait for this to be done so I don't screw anything up, but... What in the world? Did I maybe hit the button? What in the heck? I have no idea what just caused that. I literally have no idea what just happened there. That's weird. Okay. It has a mind of its own. It's alive. Um, Alright, so it looks like that's done. Good. I'm really, really glad that we actually have our uh, pressurizations and all that kind of stuff kind of squared away at this point to where we can um, open doors and do like the arc furnace and all that kind of stuff and it'll actually just kind of shift things around. I actually need some glass from down here now that I think about it. So I'm going to go work on trying to move the solar panel stuff. I may... I may... Um, Okay, I need to see what I'm doing here. I may do kind of like build the new set. There's some frames. There's one sheet. I might need to make some more iron sheets and some frames. Glass. I think we only need about three actually. So we can throw those back in there. Cladding I'm not worried about. Yeah, I think we should only need three. Uh, but I'm probably going to need some more cable and some more... Uh, I wonder if I want to use another copper thing. Let's not for now, because I don't know how much power I'm going to need. Um, how many frames do I have? Five. So I should have enough frames, because I only need three more frames to add to the array. So I'm going to make some more copper wiring. Ooh, we're up to 57. Good. Good, 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 good. Uh, I'm going to make some more copper wiring as well as some more, I should probably do the iron sheets first. If I can find them. That's walls. I can never remember where stuff is. I really wish they wouldn't go by kit and things and I really wish they would just kind of make it alphabetical. It would just make things a lot easier in my opinion. Um... Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to make some more of this stuff, 
and then see if we can't get the, uh, the array moved. Alrighty, so I made a bit of progress here. I've got a new area set up for the, um, the solar array, which should give me enough space as well as give me a little bit more um, room for growth. Now, I might move a couple of things around here. I'm not really sure yet. Uh, because, how is this getting any efficiency? There's no, <laughs> there's no power. Uh, but because I want to have one square for like transformers, one square for batteries, but I think I might, I think I might want to do one square for logic. And if I do it that way, I shouldn't have too much of a problem. So I may move this down one. Let me see if I can grab... Yeah, there we go. Let's grab a hold of this. And I thought about doing the combined, and that would minimize the cable. Um, but I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure about that yet. So for now, I'm going to keep it as separate uh, data versus power and see how that goes. Um, and I saved myself a little bit of space, or not space, uh, materials, in that I only did... Um, whatchamacallit. I only did one uh, one sheet for each frame and because I really only need to be able to place the blocks on them. They don't really need to be airtight. So that should save us a little bit of material cost as well. So the tricky part here, in my humble opinion, is going to be um, I hope I have enough battery in this to actually undo all this cladding. Um, but it's going to be transferring without completely shutting down my base. That's going to be the, the tricky part, I think. Oop. Is that okay? I think that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, I also need to take note of the data structure so that I don't do it wrong. And yeah, I'm definitely not I'm definitely not picking this up anymore. I didn't really realize that. All right. So yeah, I, I definitely need to make sure that I've got the uh, the structure down. So what what do we got here? Just gotta remind myself. I know there's a um ba -ba 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 -ba, a, a sensor right there, daylight sensor. So I'll need to move that. Um, let's see, what else we got? We have a logic reader, math unit, memory, batch writer, um, divides. Okay, so I'll figure all that out. But yeah, so that's the, the new structure at the moment is just going to be a straight array. And that should not only add another uh, three solar panels to the array, which will improve our power, but it will also like in this situation, create more efficiency. This is at zero efficiency. This is at 74. So we're losing um, two thirds of our array when it gets to an angle like this. Bad, very, very bad. And I honestly didn't think about it until somebody had mentioned it a few episodes back um, that the uh, it, it wasn't really that efficient. So I was like, oh, that actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. But see, this part is what I'm not sure about. I don't know if I can directly tie in heavy cable to um, normal cable. If I can directly tie them in, it may not be a bad idea to do them all with the data and the power going through one port and then just kind of splitting the data cable um, at a certain point. So I got to play around with this a little bit. Um, and figure out exactly what I want to do. It was also suggested to me as well that I could make use of the data cable port here for the batteries in, in my uh, logic readout without um, having to use heavy cable for those. I could just tie regular cable to that one. So that's, an, that's another option that I, ha uh, that I have. So let me work on this a little bit more and see if we can get it actually up and running. OK, 
Okay, so good news and bad news. Good news is this isn't going to work. The bad news is I cannot actually use the dual uh, data and power port because um, what I'm finding is while the heavy cable can store all of this and it makes it to the battery, if I loop this back through um, I d it, like off of the battery or the transformer, then I'm not getting the data for the uh, solar panels to be able to um, talk to them. However, what I am getting is more power than these cables can handle when I'm trying to power it from two different sources. Um, actually, just in general. Now, if I did all this in heavy cable, it wouldn't be a big deal, but I actually just noticed this is going to be a problem too because <laughs> I actually need to be able to talk to the... Um, solar panels. So this whole thing is kind of screwed up, to be honest, uh, because I have the power outlet over here, but I have the data output over here. So I'm going to have to do something a little creative. And the sticking is getting worse, to be honest. I don't know. You'll probably notice that I'm going along, playing along, and then I'll just stop for a second. And then it, that's not me. That's just the game's actually hanging for some reason. And it's not any other game. It's just, uh, just stationers. So I don't really know what that's about. Um, but yeah, so I need the power to be coming from one where, one area, and I need, there it is again. I don't know what that's about, but it's really getting annoying, actually. Um, so I've got the data running to the battery here, uh, so that eventually we can use the data circuits, but as you can see, I'm getting blowouts here, even though it's running through a transformer, which doesn't make sense until I remembered that I actually had power coming in off of this split. So that's the big issue here. So I've got to run um, a power cable along this way to come off of the transformer signal so that it powers everything. But I still need to be able to get this data port to talk to the thing over here. So it's kind of been a little problematic if I'm if I'm being honest uh, because it doesn't it's not very convenient. Um, so I'm going to have to do this a little bit ugly, but what I'm going to do, I think, well, I don't even know if I can do that, actually. I don't know that that, no, I have to do it from over here. So this is going to be a little derpy looking, but it's really the only way I can think to do it. So I think I'm going to splice another line here and we'll cut this there. Um, let's see. Actually, how do I want to... So this is the data cable. So I need the data ju to just run this way. That's the simplest. I need that to tie in there. Now for power, um, let's see. I actually do need this to, to connect for the rest of the circuits to be power powered. So, um, I need... Oh, I need a regular junction. I just need it to go this way. That'll work. And then I need a corner there. There's another stick. Don't really know what that is. Getting annoying. Uh, and then I need... I think this will work. So again, not the prettiest way to do it, and there's probably a better way, to be honest. Um, but for now, this should actually function correctly. It, it doesn't look the best, but it should actually work. And then we'll put a three-way split here, and that should tie in for data so that this chip can actually tell the solar panels what to do. Now if I cut this cable and I refit it, it should actually not blow out, theoretically. And we've got the transformer now on. I did have that down one because I thought maybe it wasn't working right. We can put that there. All right, so now the chips are powered, but they're coming off the battery. Um, so essentially the data cable here is running along with the power to the circuits. We get this here. I can then use this line to do my data cables for the uh, power display so I can get the readouts for the batteries. Um, we are gonna have a problem here with the second battery, however, because of the data port. That's gonna be an issue. So if I put them right next to each other, it should be right about there. So let me see if I can go ahead and fix this by doing this. And we'll do a corner. Again, not the prettiest looking, but it will actually give us a little bit of a better um, 
direct type uh, kind of line type of thing. If I can ever stop this game from sticking, and I will say, not so much the sticking part, that's going to be just like a performance kind of thing. I might just run this vertically, actually, and then I'll just switch out. Yeah, I think I might do that. Um, and then I'll just switch out the uh, straight cable for a T-junction wherever it makes the most sense. Um, but no, I have to admit the movement is actually beginning to really bug me. Now, I've had a couple people mention to me that it's space, so it's the gravity of the moon. I, I, I don't agree. I don't agree. Because there are times, like, um, let me see if I can get an example here. It's probably going to make a liar out of me now. But when I'm here, if I jump, I just get a bounce. It's like boing, 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 nothing, right? And then there's other times when it isn't hanging up like if you're down here and you try and jump boing but then you'll do something like this and then you'll you'll coast for an hour and it's just really annoying that it's so inconsistent and then when you couple it with the sticking i feel like i just can't move very well in this game i could probably be a lot more productive if they would uh kind of streamline the movement and polish it up a little bit but anyways so that's the general principle there's another hiccup really don't know what that's about now, I don't think I'll have the power display set up, but I should have the base up and running again by the time we end this episode, which is, ooh, should be pretty close. So let me fix the solar panels to where they're using both the data and the uh, power output and input. Um, and let me move these panels over there, move the second battery, and then we should be able to move inside. Okay, so good news, bad news, not so great news. The good news is that we got everything hooked up, uh, the new solar array is functioning, and we have our power display running once again. I did move it over here instead of over here, so it's a little less cramped. And as we seal this back up, um, once those lag spikes stop, you know, it'll be a little bit more uh, kind of nice and uh, visible over here. The bad news is that we're still losing power, so we still don't have enough of the power um, stuff hooked up yet. Or enough of the solar panels, I should say. So I'm going to try and make some heavy cable coils. Let's do... let's just do like 20 and see if that is enough. Actually, I don't even know if I have enough copper for that. Oh, it takes gold too. I only have two, though. Ah, we'll just leave it. It's not like I can't use more later. Um, the not-so-great news is that it seems that I had yet another burnout because this power cell is completely gray. Where I'm getting these burnouts, I don't know, because I did not hook anything up until the tr uh, transformer was assembled and hooked up, so I don't know what could have burned it out. Um, but it's another wire hunt, basically. I think it's somewhere in these blocks here. Um, I'm having a hard time with uh, my suit lately because even though this is off, my air tank is still going down, which is still using the filter, so I'm not really sure how that works because I turned it off. Uh, but if we turn that back on, I'll, I'll get my lights again at least. So I'm pretty sure it's in here somewhere, uh, but I'm not really sure because obviously the light is grayed out here. Um, these in here still work, but if I remember correctly, they're either tied to... I think they're tied to the external or something. Um, so yeah, I have a bit of a power hunt there, or a wire hunt on that regard. But we have everything mostly working, and we do need um, some more power though still. Hopefully the added three solar panels and the improved efficiency will be enough to compensate, but the nice part is we can always add more, which is kind of cool the way this is set up now and it looks like I'm gonna be out of copper um, one thing I wanted to note here is this is the original uh, from the transformer itself line so I went ahead and hooked all the logic up to that and then split it to where the room itself is powered that way the all of the logic for reading the battery panels uh, battery output is through 
the transformer circuit. So I thought that was kind of cool. Also, these little hitches that I'm having are really starting to annoy me. And I don't mean just from a annoyance thing. I had over 15 to 20 steel panels or iron panels, whatever. I grabbed them and I went to put them in my inventory or swap them. I believe it was something like this. And I went, now they're steel. Those were glass. No, were they steel? That was weird. Okay, so they get stuck in this ghost form. You might have noticed they did not look like steel or iron. I keep saying steel, iron panels. They didn't look like iron panels. Um, so I thought they were glass, but they're doing this weird, like if you start to put something in your inventory and you get one of those um, hiccups, then they go to this like ghost form type of thing. It's really weird and annoying. And, and it's just kind of one of those where I'm like, I don't understand what's causing these hitches. Uh, let me know if you guys have them as well. It may be something on my end, but I doubt it because typically if it's something on the the game, e I mean the, the hardware end, uh, you'll have it on multiple games, typically, at least in my experience. So the fact that it's only stationers makes me think that it is something to do with the game itself. Uh, I don't know though, I could be wrong. So if you've had hitches like that, let me know. Um, and then that way I'll know I'm not crazy and it's not just me. Um, as for the suit rack here, I don't really know what I'm going to do with it just yet. Um, oh, this, it's really getting, it's really getting bad. It's really getting annoying. Not that it's worsening, it's just aggravating. It's like the same thing all the time. Um, I might put the... Hmm. I don't know where to put these guys because I had to move them from over here. Uh, with the, I guess I can move it out away from the wall one, but it then it's kind of in the way. Um, and the whole point was to try and get it out of the way. But I don't really have a better spot for it, unfortunately. So we'll probably have to put it there. Anyways, we've got everything kind of set up now. Um, in a bit more of a, a good configuration and it's more efficient. So I think the next step is going to be... Um, to add the extra solar panels to the cabling. And I'll probably do that on um, off camera, I mean. And I need to find the burnout, which again, I'll probably find off camera and fix. Uh, but that's gonna do it, I think. I think that's gonna wrap it up. Now, one thing I did wanna bring up, I am not 100% sure yet. This is not a, a matter of fact, but even though I just mentioned the last, or the next episode, this may in fact end up being my last one. I don't know yet, it's not 100%. Um, I would say basically check my podcast because I'm gonna be putting out a podcast where I talk about this at, at length. Um, but essentially I'm gonna be doing some major overhauling of my channel's schedule and series um, in an effort to kind of streamline so I can work more on some project things. I'm, I'm getting a bit uh, spread too thin with the different series and I'm looking at the numbers and some of them just aren't really seeming like they're worth doing. Stationers is on the fence. I'm not sure. It may still be viable uh, for me to keep doing the series. A couple of them though are gonna go. Um, so with that, this may or may not be my, my last episode. If it is, I do appreciate everybody being super supportive and always giving comments and feedback and all that kind of stuff. And I hope you'll still watch some of my other stuff if I do end up ending this. I don't know yet. Once again, like I said, check out my podcast. It should be up already. It should have gone up um, either today or yesterday. I'm not sure of my schedule yet. But do check it out because um, I'm going to be talking at length about that, um, about my schedule and stuff like that. So there's more details to fill you guys in. But I wanted to let you guys know in case you only watch this series and hadn't watched my podcast um, that if you want to know more about why and what's going on, um, just check my podcast. So with that, we're going to wrap things up here. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I may or may not see you in the next one. If not, I hope to see you around the channel on my other series. So with that, we're going to wrap things up here. Peace.